Hey guys! Today I want to talk about one of my favorite moths from the eastern United States, Canada and parts of Mexico. The Io moth, Automeris Io. I think they are insanely adorable. The male of this species is bright yellow, but in some places, like Florida, they can be orange as well. This species is actually quite easy to breed for beginners, but be careful, the caterpillars can sting. They are even mildly venomous, but not dangerously so. They'll give you some mild discomfort. It's comparable to a stinging nettle. Still, if you are sensitive or have allergies, it may be wise to stay away from them. The caterpillars can easily be raised on willow, cherry, an oak tree and many more plants, to be honest. The cocoons are papery thin. The moths themselves don't live very long, unfortunately. Females and males are easy to tell apart. The females are much larger and tend to be brown in color compared to the smaller males. In captivity, the species lays literally hundreds of eggs. Sadly, they do not live very long. Expect the adults to live for about a week. If you're curious about how to breed them, subscribe to my channel. I'm the biggest moth channel on YouTube and I have filmed the most species out of anyone. See you in the next video! This was a short one today.